Another top 10 guitar YouTubers list. Doesn't that sound incredibly boring? And it would be except you guys picked this list and I'm going to share it with you all today right here on Geargasm. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's mostly dirt ball, low level kind of content, but every once in a while I come up with something decent. And today, I think I've come up with something decent because the last time I did a guitar top 10 YouTubers list, you guys had some really, really interesting comments for your favorite guitar channels, ones that didn't make my list in particular. And I gotta say, I agree with almost all of your choices, and in fact, I watch most of those channels as well. They just weren't high enough on my list to make the top 10, so I thought it's only fair to let you guys pick some and also give these other channels some shout outs. Now remember, this list is in no particular order except for the number one. That one was obvious, I saw it so many times in the comments, but other than that, do not get all bent out of shape about 10 versus 6 versus 3 versus 8. It's all good. Number 10 on our list comes from my buddy George Suarez. He says, hey, Alan, I love the list except for Glenn Fricker. Poor Glenn. I would add Philip McKnight in the blues, that pedal show, and I'd have to also add Anderton's. I can only pick one amigo, and it's going to be in the blues. I like quirky things, and in the blues, is kind of quirky in that the guy pretty much focuses on blues, but he's Australian. That's kind of weird. If that wasn't weird enough, he's also left-handed. Always good to see somebody with a physical disability get a chance to do something cool. And I'm sure all those other left-handed guitar players out there with that same physical disability Aww. really get into what he does. It makes it super easy to learn what he's doing because guess what? His neck's going in the same damn direction yours is. I kid all of you lefties, settle down in the blues, number 10 on our list. Number 9 on our list of the best guitar YouTube channels picked by you. Gavin Decker says, my top five are Stevie T, Spectre Sound Studios, Music is Wind, Trogley's Guitar Show, and Ola England. I myself watch all those channels as well, but for this list, number nine is Music is Wind. Tyler Larson, I actually met him a couple of years ago at Experience PRS, super, super nice guy. I really respect the fact that he's taken a channel from ground zero and made it something successful for him. He, he definitely relates, I think, to a little bit of a younger crowd in terms of teaching people things, but he also relates a little bit to us older guys with his immaculate taste in gear, specifically Paul Reed Smith guitars. Tyler is one of those channels, he's got a really dry sense of humor, sometimes you're not quite sure how to take him, but the fact that he combines some gear stuff, but more with lots of lessons and lots of learnings and all kinds of great fun videos like top 10 songs not to play in guitar store, and some of those little sketch type videos that he does. Super, super versatile and talented. Tyler Larson, Music is When, you're number nine on our list. Number eight on the list of the top 10 guitar YouTubers that you guys picked, Samurai Guitarist. Luis Martinez says, you miss Samurai Guitarist on your list. And yeah, it's easy to forget about Samurai Guitarist, but he's built up a great following he does some teaching, he does some gear reviews, his channel is, is very versatile, there's all kinds of different content you get there. He has a really dry, deadpan, almost monotone delivery, which somehow works for him. I don't know how he does it, maybe it's a samurai man bun, maybe it's just that hook that he has. He does, one of the favorite things that he does that I like, are the where he does a list of really weird guitar gadgets and he'll pull them in and review them. It's always a hoot. Samurai Guitar is your number eight on the list. Number seven on our list of the top ten guitar YouTubers, and this is another one of my favorites. Paul M. says, great list. Some of my faves are not on there. Ben Eller, excellent technique tutorials. I'll stop right there. Yes, yes, and yes. Ben is a lot of fun. He's quietly funny. I love his band Skank Banger. I love the fact that He's very accessible, 
in his lessons. He's not a stickler for this, that, and the other. He pretty much tell you, you know, play what works for you, make it sound good. If it sounds good, it is good. He calls himself Uncle Ben. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to do that, but he's still a super chill dude. His content is always very informative. I never fail to learn something from him, even with a song that I think I already know. If Ben Eller goes over it, I almost always come away with a lot more knowledge. Ben Eller, you're number seven on our list. All right, number six on our list of the top ten guitar YouTubers that you guys picked. Fayroid77 says, a good list. For myself, I would add Phil McKnight, Shane in the Blues. He's biased because he's one of those lefties. Aww. Sorry. We'll stop right there because it's Phil McKnight. Know your gear. If you're going to call your channel Know Your Gear, you better back it up and back it up he does. I almost never fail to learn something from him, especially when he's doing stuff about guitar setups, whether it's fret dressing or rewiring some pickups. He's very, very good at calmly teaching you how to do things. He's very thorough. He seems like a genuinely nice human being. Really, really savvy person when it comes to marketing. His merch, putting the people in the videos with the Know Your Gear t-shirts on was a brilliant idea. Phil McKnight, you're a great guy. You deserve to be on this list. You're number six. Number five on our list of the top ten guitar YouTubers that you guys picked, Fred Krueger, <laughs> love the screen name, says Leon Todd for Axe Effect stuff. Yes, Leon Todd, he's another brother from down under, down there in Australia. And yes, if you're into the Axe FX, he is the man. I'm not into the Axe FX, but I watch Leon all the time. Why? Because he's a tremendous player. His vibrato is insanely good. He has great tasting gear. He'll show you licks. He'll show you tricks. A really super chill guy. I think he's a great example of the new breed of guitar YouTubers. Leon Todd, you're number five on our list. Number four on the list, E200AL1 says, I think Beato's and Pierce channels are awesome and also in his top ten list. And so are these channels. Phil McKnight, which we already talked about, it's on the screen. You guys can read. But one of them that jumps out at me is Steve Stein Guitar Lessons. I just recently discovered Steve Stein. The dude is legit, especially when you want to have short lesson videos that focus on a single technique or a single lick or a certain particular style. The dude has got it going on. He's got the legitimate hair so you know he's for reals. Again, I'm new to his channel, but for the last few weeks I have been working really closely with some of his lessons videos. Steve Stein, you're number four on our list. Number three on the list, this one comes from Donnie Rocket's Carding Channel. One of the things he said here is, and it really jumps out at me, it's Daryl Braun. Now he almost made the last list. Daryl Braun's from Canada. He's a super, super chill dude. Seems like a really nice guy. He has great taste in gear. I always learn something from Daryl's videos. They are so well shot, so well put together. He just has a natural presence on camera that's soothing, and I envy that. And Daryl Braun, my Canadian friend, you're number three on the list. And while we've got E200 AL1 on the list, I'm going to give you another one because it was so long. David Wallerman. He's another lessons guy. I never ever fail to learn something when I watch his channel. He is so good at coming up with analogies and metaphors and making you think differently about playing your guitar. He can take what you're trying to achieve on the fretboard and sort of convert it into some other makes it lock in concept. Super, super chill guy, really is a top-notch player. I admire the fact that he survived a complete shaving of his beard and a hair makeover, and people didn't lose their minds. So it gives me hope that if one day I want to share this beard off, I won't scare all you people away. Be that as it may, David Wallerman, you're number two on our list. And finally, number one on your list of your favorite guitar YouTube channels, just by the sheer number of people that mention this channel, and I wholeheartedly agree, it's Trogley's Guitar Show.
Tom Badley says, good list. I also dig some of the hardware channels too, like Trogley's Guitar Show. Billy C says, sentence a list of guitar content channels. I'll go with Trogley's. I love learning about guitars. I don't play them, but I love them. That's crazy. And what an endorsement of the troglodyte. Now it's funny, I used to watch Trogley, you know, earlier on in his video career. I, and I just couldn't get past his vocal delivery. It sounded like Fred Rogers and Emo Phillips had a baby together. It's funny, when you hear somebody's voice, if you're a man, you could probably relate. You hear another man's voice, sight unseen, and one of the thoughts that may or may not pop into your head is like, yeah, I could probably take that guy. I could probably whoop his ass based just on the sound of his voice without ever having seen him. Now, if you made that mistake after hearing Mike Tyson's voice, you know that that doesn't always come to play. But when we finally got to see Trogley, God bless him. He seems like such a gentle dude. Wouldn't hurt a fly. He's really, really knowledgeable about guitars. I love, he takes things apart. He lets us see the guts. His camera work is astounding. His volume of output, daily videos, that's off the charts. Besides that, he's made a really cool and I think somewhat lucrative business of taking guitars, buying them, opening them up, gutting them, setting them up, and then moving them on. Trogley's Guitar Show, according to my viewers, you are number one on this list. Well, did you have fun? Did you like the list? Are you upset? Are you tickled that you got to see your name on the TV screen? I really enjoy those comments when I do these kind of videos. I almost always learn something. You guys have great taste. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this here Geargasms. You can buy a t-shirt if you want to. If you don't want to, ain't mad at you. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell David Coverdale about it because he's just going to put undue pressure on you to come to his Botox party. And you know the deal with those. You go, you get drunk, you eat some canapes, somebody injects some really low grade Botox into your forehead, you think you're getting a discount, but the host of the party gets it for free and I'm not down with that. Play more guitar, watch less YouTube, and keep coming back here week after week. I beg of you for more Geargasms.